Hello everyone. My name is Abhishek and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here to announce the launch of Ansible Zero to Hero series. Of course, I have done a couple of videos on Ansible before as part of our DevOps Zero to Hero series. But still, because you all have been asking for a dedicated Ansible playlist, here I am going to start Ansible Zero to Hero series. So this is the launch video where in this video, I will explain at a high level what will be this course syllabus. I'm saying high level because I'm still improving the course syllabus for good where I will be adding more projects. I will be adding more real time tasks, scenario based things to this Ansible playlist. So I will explain at a high level, what exactly will be covered in this Ansible Zero to Hero series? When are we going to start? That is, when will we start with the first video and continue the videos? What time? And finally, what are the real time projects that we are going to cover in this Ansible Zero to Hero series? So please watch this video till the end so that you get the complete information about this series. Now, before I start with explaining the course syllabus, let me take a couple of minutes to explain about this channel. If you are a new subscriber or if you haven't followed our channel before, this channel is known for zero to hero playlists. Till now, we have completed five zero to hero playlists. Using this zero to hero playlist, anyone can get started with DevOps. There are so many people started with this DevOps Zero to Hero series and completed all our five Zero to Hero playlists and were successfully placed in the DevOps job roles. So let's understand what are these five playlists very quickly. DevOps Zero to Hero, which will provide introduction to all the DevOps concepts. AWS Zero to Hero, which will help you with AWS concepts that are required for DevOps engineers. Similarly, we have Azure Zero to Hero. If you want AWS, you can use the AWS Zero to Hero playlist. If you want to get started with Azure, you can use the Azure Zero to Hero playlist. Then we have Terraform Zero to Hero playlist, which helps you learn Terraform, master it with real time projects. Finally, we have Python for DevOps. Python for DevOps is again a Python Zero to Hero playlist, but dedicated for DevOps engineers, all the tasks, concepts, we have learned from DevOps point of view. So these are five zero to hero playlists. All the videos are available for free on this channel. You can get started and watch this zero to hero series. Now going back to Ansible zero to hero. So this series will have 11 or 12 videos. I'm also planning to add some interview related questions. So overall it might come to 12 videos and day one will be introduction to Ansible where we will get started with Ansible. We will learn what exactly is Ansible, why DevOps engineers use Ansible, how is it different from shell scripting and Python scripting. So when should one go with shell scripting? When should one go with Python scripting? Similarly, when should someone go with Ansible? We will cover all this. Additionally, we will also learn how to install Ansible in the day one itself. And we will learn the basics of YAML scripting. Ansible playbooks are written in YAML. Don't worry, even if you don't know YAML, I will help you configuring the YAML related plugins on your IDE platforms like Visual Studio Code so that you can get started with Ansible and these plugins will help you learn YAML very easily. So this will be our day one. Day two, instead of directly getting started with complex Ansible playbooks, it is better to learn Ansible ad hoc commands first. So day two will be Ansible ad hoc commands where we will learn how the command line of Ansible using the ad hoc commands can create packages and we will learn things like 
what exactly ad hoc commands are used for, how to write this ad hoc commands, and we will do quick setup as well as task with the Ansible ad hoc commands. Then we will move with Ansible playbooks, which is the important concept of Ansible. We will learn how to write a simple Ansible playbook. And when we are learning about ad hoc commands itself, we will learn about passwordless authentication, how to set up passwordless authentication in Ansible and how Ansible server can talk to the other servers. Then in writing your first playbook, it's not only about writing tasks, but we will also learn what exactly is an inventory file in Ansible, how to write playbook, how to write tasks, and we will use examples like a simple Nginx installation or Apache package in this video because it's your first Ansible playbook. We will move to Ansible roles concept where using Ansible roles, DevOps engineers write complicated Ansible playbooks. So there will be a dedicated video where I'm going to explain what is the folder structure of Ansible roles? What kind of roles DevOps engineers usually write with respect to Ansible automation? What are the advantages of using Ansible roles when compared to playbooks? Are they different? Are they used in combination? We will learn all that. And we will also create a very simple role. Day five, we will deep dive into Ansible roles. So there are two videos for Ansible roles. Day four is basic and day five is advanced. In the advanced, we will learn the pre-built Ansible roles. There is something called Ansible Galaxy where you have pre-built Ansible roles. So we will also learn about Ansible Galaxy. We will learn how advanced Ansible roles are used by DevOps engineers. What are those advanced concepts? We will learn what are the different files and folder structure that is available within the Ansible roles. Like you have templates, files, handlers. We will learn what exactly all these concepts are when talking about the Ansible roles. Day six, we will learn about Ansible variables and the precedence of Ansible variable. Like I told, there might be some changes with respect to this course syllabus, but the changes will be for good where I will make this syllabus even better. I will provide more details. So when we talk about variables, we will learn in Ansible, what are the different kinds of variables that you can use command line variables, global variables, defaults. So we will learn all of these things and compare them each other. We'll also learn about Jinja 2 templating. How is it used? Why is it used? Then in day seven, we will do a video on Ansible conditionals and loops. Again, this is a very important concept. If you want to write complex Ansible playbooks or if you're working in a critical environment, it is often required that you have understanding of conditionals and loops. So we will learn both of them, how to write control task execution in Ansible, how to write loops to perform or to avoid repetitive tasks, we'll also do some practical examples. Day eight, we will cover another important aspect that is error handling. For any programming language, these are the concepts, right? Of course, Ansible is not a programming language, but under the hood, when you are writing Ansible playbooks, there is a Python program that is getting executed. So you're not directly invoking a Python program, but still Ansible, indirectly invokes a Python program. So you also have concepts like conditionals, loops, you have error handling, which are pillars of Ansible advanced playbooks. So we will learn what exactly is error handling, how to implement that using Ansible. Then we will learn the most important one, security aspect, Ansible vault integration. How can you integrate the secret manager with Ansible so that you can store any sensitive information. You can encrypt the files that you're using in your Ansible playbooks. Day 10, we will learn about Ansible tower. We will deep dive into the Ansible tower, compare it with 
the traditional ansible playbooks what is the difference between not using ansible tower using ansible tower why enterprises prefer ansible tower we will learn our back with ansible tower and all these things day 11 advanced ansible project what i am going to do is i am going to use terraform in combination with ansible so you can learn how devops engineers in real time use terraform plus ansible it's not terraform versus ansible but i'm going to show you terraform with ansible so it's very interesting you might not find such video but i'm going to do that in detail day 12 i have not mentioned here but we will also do some interview questions and if required i am going to add interview questions in between as well but for now this is the high level course syllabus now coming to the point when i am going to start this series so i am going to start this series you know on not the next monday but the coming monday that is on 27th of may so you can note down the date i am going to start it from 27th of may we will do the 12 videos and if you have followed our zero to hero playlist before you know how consistently we upload the videos so we will try to finish this series within the month time so we will do it as soon as possible 12 videos or more than that as well and all the videos will be uploaded to this channel itself it will not be uploaded on any other platforms it will be free on youtube and will be uploaded at 9 pm indian standard time mostly i'll try to do it every day or alternative days and whenever i upload i will be uploading 9 pm indian standard time i'm also going to announce on the telegram channel when i upload the videos so it's going to start as i have just explained the course is going to start from 27th of may and videos will be uploaded from 9 pm ist whenever i upload so i hope you found this course launch video informative i am also going to do day 0 video where in the day 0 it is not part of the 12 videos or the 12 days day 0 is something that we usually do where i will finalize the complete course syllabus i will finalize the projects and i am going to explain you during that day what are we going to learn in detail so don't miss that video as well it will be uploaded very soon thank you so much again see you all in the next video take care